हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर प्रताप नाइक पटेल वेलकम टू यूर फेवरेट चैनल पीवीएस साइंस स्टडी हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी विल स्टडी लाइफ साइकल ऑफ साइकस एज वेल एज सिस्टमेटिक पोजिशन और क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ साइकस एंड इकोनॉमिक इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ साइकस वन बाय वन डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज स्कीमेटिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ लाइफ साइकल ऑफ साइकस Life cycle of cycles is also known as alternation of generation of cycles because here two generations they are alternating with each other. We will see one by one two generations in the life cycle of cycles. So first it is the sporophytic generation. This generation it is also known as the diploid generation. The sporophyte is highly developed male plant as well as the female plant. It is differentiated into root, stem as well as leaves. it is an independent generation it is heterosporous and so therefore they are going to produce the two types of the spores here the male cycas plant going to produce the male cone while female cycas plant does not produce the female cone but they produce the megasporophyll then male cone produces the microsporophyll from microsporophyll microsporangia are produced and from megasporophyll megasporangium is produced here microsporangium is going to develop into microspore mother cell and megasporangium is developed into megaspore mother cell now both megaspore mother cell as well as the microspore mother cell they undergo meiosis or reduction division and later on they are converted into megaspore as well as the microspore here microspores and megaspores both are haploid and these are the first cell of the gametophytic generation now the microspore is later on developed into anthozoite and megaspore is developed into embryo sac and egg egg is the female gamete and male nuclei it is the male gamete both are haploid in nature the gametophyte is haploid as it is developed from the spore the fusion of male gamete and female gamete is known as fertilization or it is also known as the syngamy the product of the fertilization it is the oospore or zygote which is diploid in nature and this is the first cell of the sporophytic generation this oospore is developed into embryo and then into seed when this seed is going to be germinated then it will produce the male as well as the female cycas plant separately so by this way we can see here the two important processes are fertilization as well as meiosis meiosis is known as the reduction division and fertilization is also known as the syngamy meiosis is the step where the sporophytic generation ends and gametophytic generation starts while fertilization is the process from which the sporophytic generation starts and gametophytic generation ends when we connect a line between fertilization and meiosis then we will see that the upper portion it is occupied by the sporophytic generation and the lower part it is occupied by the gametophytic generation so by this way the sporophytic generation alternates with the gametophytic generation and gametophytic generation alternates with the sporophytic generation so therefore this is known as the life cycle of cycas this figure also shows life cycle of cycas in which we can see different parts of cycas so this is the male cycas plant and this is the female cycas plant then male cycas plant is going to produce microsporophyll microsporangia microspore mother cell whereas female cycas plant produces megasporophyll so this is also a less of ovule with the megaspore mother cell then this megaspore mother cell undergo meiosis to produce the megaspore tetra and all other details that we have already studied now we will study the classification or the systematic position of cycas division of this plant it is spermatophyta because these are food producing plant as well as flower producing plant the subdivision of this plant it is gymnospermy because the ovules are produced they are not enclosed in the ovary and so therefore the ovules are exposed ovules usually show single integument plants are heterosporous gametophytic development is endosporic anthridia are absent and archegonia are partially reduced then class class is cycadophyta or it is also known as cycadopsida because 
here the plant stem it is woody unbranched large pinnately compound leaves are produced internally stem shows wide cortex and manozoic wood then order order is cycadels because the tree trunks are covered by scaly leaves and persistent leaf bases with crown of composed leaves at the top next to that it is family family of cycas is cycadesi because the plants are palm like habit with fern like leaves ovules with pollen chamber and genus is cycas because here female cones are absent so this is all about classification of cycas now we will study economic importance of cycas cycas is very economically important plant and it has several uses we have to see one by one cycas is cultivated in garden as a ornamental plant leaves of cycas they are also used for making mats as well as baskets hats and other handicrafts cycas is also known as sago palm because a starch called sago is obtained from the stem pith of cycas revoluta sago starch is used in the preparation of sabudana seeds of some species of cycas they are used as a fodder for animals in various countries the starch obtained from the seed is also used in cakes soft young leaves of cycas they are used as vegetable also in some parts of the world boiled seeds of cycas rumpi are eaten by people who are living in andaman and nicobar islands cycas also has various medicinal uses such as extract of young leaves of cycas is used in the treatment of many skin diseases blood vomiting as well as stomach disorder the decoction of seed is also used as purgative the terminal buds of cycas sersenilis are used to treat ulcerated wounds as well as swollen glands so this is regarding the economic importance of cycas so with this we have completed cycas in all aspect in next video we will study the new aspect of your syllabus so dear students if you like video share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe your favorite channel pvn science study thank you